All right, folks, off-duty Superman here. So we're going to try and fix the blender valve of a 1999 F-150. Let me show you the patient. Here it is. We've got 285,000 miles on it. It's been a fabulous truck. I enjoy having it. I'm trying to fix it up a little bit. I'm not having any cold AC about now. Here's the deal. I got in here and uh, I basically, you know, I did like most everybody else does, gets on YouTube and studies and tries to figure out if I can do something or not. I feel like I can do it. And I've gotten to a point that uh, I'm replacing my actual actuator. Here is your actuator, the OEM part that's white. And um, it didn't seem like it was gonna be really hard to get to by looking at YouTube and all. But this thing was a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. I think my hands might be a little bit bigger than some folks or something like that. But it was a pain in the butt to find some of those nuts and get a hold of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you think like me, I can, if I see something in a backwards order, then um, it kind of helps me uh, get it done the right way too. So I'm going to, if I put everything back together, this part right here is the part that's no longer any good. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you see how I have the new one plugged up. And what it should do, let me get the keys in here and show you what's happening. And this is how you test whether it's good or not. So you see it, that's all the way on, on heat. You can see that it's moving. Now I'm put it all the way on cool and it's moving all the way back over to cool. The white one, it quit doing that. And it's opening up the door. Now my only issue, only thing I'm kind of worried about is they say what this part goes up into, that it's opening and closing the door the actuator door to allow heat or cool in <clears throat> through these vents. The very bottom, the piece that this is actually going up into, they're they're known to crumble. So that'll be like adventure number two. If this does not fix it, my I'll have to take all this back out, take the actuator back out, the new one, um, and then I'll have to go through this glove box. And y'all seen that on YouTube? Go through there, cut it out, and replace it with a uh, a new door. Anyway, so. Here we go. I'm going to stick this all back together. I'll try to video as much as I can and try to show you where all the screws are. To me, that's the big part. Where were all those screws? That was my biggest uh, problem is finding all them. Anyways, all right. Talk to you in a moment. All right. So this is what we're going to start off with. 5 16 ratchet here. And um, all right. So here is our first little thing. Maybe this you can see what I'm doing. Maybe not. But we'll see. All right. So you got to get down in here. This is in there. That way. Feel where there. Where does that go? All right. I figure out where that hole was again. It's not that these things are hard. You know how this is. Got to get in some awkward positions. All right. There's the hole that the actual actual ridge is going to go up into. Just right. All right, got it in there. All right, so that's in there. Right, so once you got it right, it just slips right up in there. Give you a good look at that. Uh, in there, I hope you can see where that is. All right, now I have to just take it and stick. All right, these little jokers back in there. There's two. So the two right here in the front are easy to see. This is actually probably the easiest part to put back on. And we've got one back there in the back. You need all the room you can get. I even take my watch off. Get myself some room. All right. I think that's it right there. I'm not able to eyeball it, so that's not it. Get in that hole. I'm going to get down there a little bit more to try to get that. Anyway, all right, I'm going to snug these up just a little bit. Oh, yeah, nice and easy. 
like don't don't snug them all down at one time. Leave just a little bit so you can move it. And then just get them almost all the way in, then you can get them right in there. All right, one more in the back. I'll get it this time. Move that camera in there a little bit. I was putting that in the wrong hole. That's the right hole. That's much better. I might take that off. Now I think the rest will work. Oh, remember you're just dealing with plastic, so don't snug it down too tight. Just get it up in there. Oh, yeah, that's good enough. That was good. And then it was the front. Now what I'm gonna do before I put anything else back on. Alright, pull that out there. What I'm gonna do before I put anything else back on is I'm gonna make sure that thing's still moving and doing its thing. Alright, so I'm gonna go over here. Turn this key back on. And if you look underneath, I think you can see right there. That's what we're looking at. Hopefully it's going to move as I move the blend door axis here. I heard it move. I can't see it, but I heard it. Nice, I heard it on the heat. Now we'll put it all the way on the cold. I hear a door in there moving. Nice. All right, very good. Part two, here it comes. All right, now, yeah, next thing we gotta do. So I've tested my actuator, it's moving and moved the door. And uh, now we're gonna stick it back in there together. Stick some Freon in there. Now this, this right here, everybody, when you look at the, the videos, they look like this is, is pretty simple, stick in there. It's not very simple. I mean, it took me a little while to get this thing out. This, there was one screw in particular. This one right here. Oh my goodness, that was a pain in the butt to get to right there. I had a hard time. I may not even get that one back in. Uh, but once you get to get them out, I mean, it's very doable. You can do that. There's one over here. And let me see, was it just two? I thought it was three. Uh, I think it's just two. So you have one on this side, one on that side, easy. Um, but not, not as easy as a lot of people make it out to be. So we're gonna stick that back in there and I'll let you watch. It'll be, it'll be good. All right, here we go. And that's not in the way. See, things aren't as easy as they make them out to be. It's taking me a second. Get back in there. And it's not even in there. Uh, I feel like I'm going to hurt something. Keep on getting frustrated.
Aha. Got it. Ooh. Got it on there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <clears throat> All right, so got that on there. Now, this is the part that's a little annoying, so we gotta put screws back in there. This one is an easy one. Stick it in there. Right there. I actually see it going in the hole it's supposed to go in. Let me get my little wrench now. Turn that one up. <clears throat> This was the one that was back in the behind. I had to use. All right. So now I'm laying on my back. So now you're laying on your back foot. So that I can get up in here. Oh yeah, that works a little bit better. All right, so I gotta get this back on. And then a screw right here in the front. And a screw right there in the back. Then I plug this back up. And it will just about be done. All right, here we go. Let me do this is not too bad right here. All right, that's the snow. Not too tight. All right, now let's go. Put these. Couple little valves back on there. I don't want to get it. Yeah, get that on there. All right, all that back together. Now, I've heard you need to take this and make sure that the battery is disconnected. So right now, when you turn on your key, you get. airbag man so what that is it says it's controlling the airbag so I'm gonna go in the hood and we are going to disconnect the positive of the battery and make sure that we don't mess up our uh, airbags or chance will be hot in there buddy it's gonna be a little bit hot in here because we've been running it Oh, there we went over to you. There we go. Airbag control module. Pretty interesting. All right, let's stick it back in there. All right. Da, 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 da. This was not too bad to get down if I remember right. But I remember something cool about it. They actually had the screws for it are color coded. They're green, all the rest of them are black because it's a little bit big. So, three screws, one, two, three. Show those to you. All right. Well, here's your first one. This one's pretty easy. And there you are, second one right in here. This might have been the easiest part of it all, taking it apart. All right, I'll mess with that one again in a second. And there's one right here in front. I'm trying to move that carpet out of the way. See if I can do it up with the carpet. Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll tighten this all in there and I will get back with you. 
All right, so we got all these pieces in our three green screws. They're the same size as all the rest of the black ones, but there they are. That's in there nice and tight. Now, this little plug, taking it off, this gray part kind of slid back. So you got to have to slide it back and then put it on, but I don't think it's going to have to on this one. So let me just see what happens here. Let's take it and let's, yeah, it just snapped right in. There you go. Airbag module is back in there. Now, I'll take this little piece out. What's weird is like these, this right here is the only thing. It's a different size. So here's your brace. This brace, go down here. See if I can get this in here one handed. Uh, get on there. There you go. So put, where'd that nut go? All right. Get your helper to give you your nut back. Put this down in there. Put the bottom one on there. All right, you see how that is, and I'll get back with you after that's put in there. I'm going to tell you, it went to get back together a lot quicker than it took it apart. Just got one more thing to do, and we will have completed that. Oh, there it is. Let's have this, JT. So if this is a simple, you know, just kind of goes over it. Let me get it angled right. You got one little clip there, and two on this side. Got a little push button things. So taking it off is actually the easiest part of this, this all. And let's see if I can do it with one hand. Let's see. Let's do this side first as we're over here. Take that. It was kind of under there a little bit. Now, let's go line that up and push it in there. All right. Let's go to the other side. And you see that one right there? Push that in there. Push that one in there. Um, even a little punch it looks like there you go snaps back up it looks pretty all right so there we go let's go hook that battery back up all right you look down in there here's the air lines if you check that if you take this off and you take a little push pin down in there and you push in there you got pressure is it still good might need a little free on but at least your compressor's not Bust it. Let's get in here and crank it up and see if we can get a little bit of cool air. I think it needs a free on. At least I put free on it. Crank right up. Turn that off. And it's all the way on cool and open. Let's crank this up. Let's see. I feel it. Does it feel hot or cold? Oh. It feels cold. Yes, yes, yes. The summer's about to begin for us, and it's cold. My door is obviously not broken. I don't have to worry about the door. I am going to put some, a, uh, some free on in there and get a little bit colder. But we're going to have some air conditioner, JT. Nice and yep. cold. All right, driving down the road right now. It's blowing. It's not super cold, but it is. It's cool. It's going to be so nice. Yes, yeah, so I got a little Freon in here. Hey, look, 283,000 miles. I think she's rocking and rolling, doing well. Ford F-150 is going to last for a long time. Even if you don't take care of I didn't take care of this one very well at all. I've never changed the transmission fluid in it. And uh, 283,000 miles later, it is still shifting. I mean, great. It's shifting better than a lot of other things I've ever had. Honda Accords, Yoda's, uh, Subaru right now. Now we got this. We got some AC. Summer's coming. Again, thank you for watching. This has been cool. Yes, pun intended. And uh, we will see y'all on the next video. Again, like, subscribe, make comments. You guys are amazing. All right, anything you want to tell anybody? Bye. Bye. Off Duty Superman is out of here. Thank you for paying attention. Like and subscribe. Make comments. Whatever. Fast Food Fitness is out. Just move.